Hello guys, it's uh, Francis here from Generational Wealth Traders, Generational Wealth Academy. Now, this is basically just to um, go over some of the trades we are currently in. You know, and when I say we, I basically mean um, you know myself and my community of traders. You know, um, I do have a, a a Telegram group where you know I provide some level of mentorship, and of course, I have a VIP group that I provide close mentorship uh too now this is um you know this is um euro usd you know where you can see where we got in here well that was the entry but in the meantime let me just show you dax you know because i'm sure you guys have come to know by now that i love trading dax so let's just show you dax you know wow this is the trade i posted this on the telegram group a while ago this is um as you can see as usual top left hand corner it's a live account we don't play games and i'm looking for this to break this blue uh, this blue rec rectangle i've drawn there you know and uh, if it breaks it i believe it's going to come all the way down all the way down so that's what we're looking at with this dax trade so guys you know for those of you who want to get some major moves you know major moves on on indices i love to trade dax you know join us and um, let's see what we can do together you know um i'll be leaving a link here for uh, the telegram group for those who want to get some of our uh, free signals i do post you know some signals there you know um every week so i'll be doing that well i have posted some today and i'll be reviewing some of them even now some of the trades you know and um, setups we've posted you know um today so let's go let's go there okay so this is basically euro usd you know um you know this is a, a bullish crab pattern you know uh basically this is this is where this is the price reversal zone price reversal zone prz let's use the technical term or the professional term so this is where you know having seen this drop that's basically where you know, uh, you get in all the way. I mean, um, I've, you know, that was a stop loss. You can see it's a good, um, it's got a good risk to reward. That's why, one of the reasons why I love to trade harmonic patterns. You know, it's a good risk to reward of one to five at least. You know, but obviously we've since moved on there. So TP1, TP1 is going to be here. TP1 is going to be here at X. You can see it's a five point you know um, pattern x a b c d d is usually where you get in you know and, and ideally your first target should be you know one of the letters there that should be a target and then there will be another target here you know as the price moves up and then another one there the final one there but if it decides to give us some more pips why not we will take it so that's you know um, how you know we'll be looking to take this and i believe we are going to capture you know most of the pips now there is the uh there is um news us news later on i believe is the pmi you know um, so we just hope that does not affect the trade you know the trades we are in but um, if it does then well so be it we know how to protect ourselves Okay, so that is Euro USD. Uh, let's go to Euro um, Euro New Zealand dollar. Now the thing is, you know, we got in this trade, or at least this was posted. This was posted, you know, um, it's been about two weeks now, or so about two weeks, and it basically, you know, uh, went up that way, <laughs> went up not. I'm not quite sure what the price was looking for there. But then it has since you know come back down that, that that is d that was the you know that was where we were meant to get in the trade uh let's do this oops let's do this so that is where we were meant to get in the trade quite a big move expected as well on this one you know but you know, obviously it would have hit the tick it would have hit um, stop loss if you had got in 
Now, I always say that, you know, whenever I post, the way I trade harmonic patterns, whenever I post um, the trades, I would usually wait for some price action signal before I get in. You know, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't expect you to just get in just because you see the price has got to D. No, of course not. On this first occasion, obviously, you know, if you had entered, you know, uh, if you had used a sell limit, then obviously you would have captured, you know, some pips, perhaps as much as, I mean, the market gave as much as 160 pips. Even if you came out anywhere before that, you still would have captured a lot of pips. But then, you know, it came back up. Anyone who had set a stop loss, you know, obviously would have been, you know, um, would have lost, you know, would have lost that trade. But guess what, guys? It's come back now and it's broken the trend line. You see, the trend line is one of the, the ways, you know, um, you know if there's a reversal. You know, obviously, you, you, you trade, you know, with confluence, you know, using trend lines, using structure and all that price action. This would have been a good place to get in the trade or perhaps even here, you know, but since if you got in here, then you should be in profit by now. At least it went and gave about 65 pips, but then it's currently, you know, this. So what I have done here is basically I've drawn a line here. You know, if you wait for this candlestick, this is the four hour. If you wait for the candle to come that high, you could jump in for a sell and take it, you know, um, lower. So basically, you know, using structure as um, your, your, your uh, stop loss, if you were to get in here, you know, you could place your stop loss anywhere in this area. Anywhere in this area, that's, you know, um, where to place your stop loss. Now, never mind this entry. That was the initial entry. You know, um, I suppose what I'll do, let me place that here. So that'll be the next entry. That'll be the next entry. And, you know, um, this is the price reversal zone. Okay, I mean, that obviously we see is, you know, structure as well. If we were to go back in time, you see that, you know, that is, you know, somewhat a structure. Uh, you know what, now let's, let's quickly do this. I don't want this video to be too long. So let's do this, let's do this. Uh, we don't want it stop, we don't want stop loss that's too wide. You know that's about eight about 90 mm, okay but 160 i mean this definitely will give you you know one to two at least i'm sure it will give you one to two let's just get that right so let's try again so if you were to get in here for a sell you know and you have a stop loss there about 90 you know uh, you see it's almost one to two one seven six which is almost 180 making it one to two so that is basically how i would you know ask you well what i'll be expecting you to do if you're not in this trade already however you might want to if you want to jump in now then you could do that as well you might not necessarily have to place your stop loss here it could just be above this you know um, this this you know i mean this is more like structure really i just want to give it some more some more to give the market room to, 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 to move. You could place your stop loss here. Just take note of this video. Take note of the fact that it is the H4 and mark your, uh, I have used trading view here. I mean, most of you know that when we do our live training, sorry, trading session, um, the London session on Tuesdays, we tend to use um, the MT4 platform, but I'm using this now because it's, it's you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna work out better for everybody. You know, um, so anyway, that's where I'll be looking to enter. If you haven't entered, place your stop loss somewhere here, or you could put it there as well. That's fine. So that's we've looked at Euro, uh, New Zealand dollar. This one we have checked Euro, um, USD. How about Euro CHF? We've been in this trade for donkey years, it seems. I mean. That's the thing about Euro CHF. It just takes its time to move, but it's it's going steadily. You can see it's going steadily, which is beautiful. So this was our initial entry. You can see here there is no um, red bit of the box, you know, which would have been the stop loss. Why? Because stop loss zone. Why? Because 
you know, um, I've since moved it to break even. I mean, obviously, if you enter this trade with us initially, you know, you should have, um, you should be, in, you should be well in profit now. You should be well in profit. Let's say you even got in here, you should be in profit by about 77 pips now. You know, um, the, the red bit I'm talking about, which is similar to this, that is basically where you'll be looking to, you know, to, to be stopped out if the trade goes against you. You enter a D, you know, there's a demarcation between the green bit of the box and the red bit. Similar thing here. You can see the, the um, maroon bit here or the red. And, you know, but with this trade, we are well into profit, so you would have, have, have moved the, the have taken off the, the, the red bit or so the, uh, the maroon bit of the box. Oh, the words are not coming out. Anyway, so how would I be looking to get in this trade if you if you didn't get in the first time? You could get in now. You could get in here and have your stop loss, you know, at some structure. You know, uh, maybe you could have, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, we want to have a good risk to reward guys that's important is vital that that's kind of like structure so how about here let's just say here so if you were to get in there if you were to get in here you'll be targeting like 76 pips 80 pips if it gives you more fine and you have your stop loss well that's a good enough stop loss you know 30 pip let's say about 30 pip stop loss targeting you know that's another one to two risk to reward now that obviously is assuming assuming the price gets there that's basically the assumption i mean i love harmonic patterns they tend to deliver but i am going to show you one now of a failed harmonic pattern because you don't win all the time with them uh let me show let me show you this one before we go to the very last one which is another setup um another setup now uh let's so you can see what happened with this one <laughs> you can see what happened with this one you know it was meant to be a bearish butterfly pattern you know so if if you had entered here obviously it would have gone and hit your stop loss and even gone further now look at that my my mind it went it went it just went miles it just went miles away from you know the initial entry but that's what happens i mean obviously if you are taking if you are if you had used if you had uh, beg your pardon if you had used the uh, if you had used the set limit a uh, sell limit order you would have gotten some some pips i mean it gave as much as for the something pips you know if you use this a sell limit but I don't usually use a sell limit order. I usually will wait for price action to get me in. You know, you know. Sometimes in, in an attempt to um, not to miss any pips, you know, you end up you know losing pips. So I will wait for price action. I mean, I won't have time much time to go over some price action setups that I would um, usually you know um, wait for. You know, um, because I don't want to keep this video long. I just want to show you. Uh, do a review of the trades we are in and the charts we sent out earlier on but obviously you can always join the telegram group if you're not there you know to know where to get in or when i am getting into the trades you know um so that's a, an example of a failed one i am going to be deleting this one now after all you know um, it's definitely not relevant anymore but i thought I, i'll leave it here to explain so let's go to our final our final um, chart for the day this is pound new zealand dollar again you can see you know um, if you had entered well actually i think this was um okay so i posted this last week i posted this last week and i did say not to get in until you see you get some price action um signal and of course, if you had placed your stop loss, it would have taken you there. Um, I think I have, yeah, you know, it would have, you know, gotten you into some drawdown or maybe even hit your stop loss, you know, depending on where you placed your stop loss. I remember I placed this here saying that 
you should only get in once the once the price breaks to the downside below the candle that lines up with this dollar sign that is where the word is <laughs> you know that is where the money is if the price you can see where the price still is now it's just you know at the same point if it breaks below then you know you should be looking to jump in and placing your stop loss okay the stop loss currently about 75 pips i think we'll leave it at that uh let's see oh okay well the thing is if you got in here then that would have been the stop loss but however rather if you get in here you don't want to be using that huge of a stop loss i would say we'll bring it low to a previous high that is just fine i know when it comes to trading you know it is the case that sometimes we want to um you know give the the price the the, the stop loss some buffer whereby you know if that is a previous high you want to give it some more pips maybe use one atr or something but mm, i don't think that would be relevant in this case or applica applicable in this case so i would basically be looking for some action uh, on the break of this low now I, I might as well just you know you know throw in some um some tips as to how i would be looking to get in you know yes i could be looking to get in when it breaks the trend line let's just um let's look for the trend line here you know um doo -doo 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 -doo. okay so we've connected this low and that low uh, let's move this out of the way so i mean we can see here now let's put that there so we can see here now if the price breaks below it has broken below now but i would want it to break this structure i wanted to break this area uh let's mark it up let's mark it up mm. i would i would prefer to break you know to break this i'll stick to this um, i mean that was the previous that was the previous one i wanted to break you know but it's broken the trend line let it break you know um this level as well let it break structure here and then you know you might wait for it to come down and retest and get in or if you want to be aggressive on breaking and closing below now never mind me when i say break you know when i say break i mean break and close you know the candle has to break and close below before you sell if it was a buy it has to break and close before you buy break and close above but anyway so that is what we have for today you know alternatively what i would usually do is to wait for an engulfing candle or a pin bar you know uh, if you were looking to enter the trade at this at this point at this point which is the price reversal zone you know waiting for a bearish engulfing candle would have um, been a good one i mean there isn't much well there wasn't any bearish engulfing there really so you know the next best thing is to wait for um a break of this low of of, of, of um, support break of support and you sell there wasn't any pin bar of note that would have taken me in as well so there were a number of price action um, setups or signals that you could use to enter a trade but that will be for another video guys feel free to join me on telegram again telegram is similar to whatsapp i say that all the time just in case you don't know telegram is free you know to join simply download it onto your phone or onto your pc your laptop or uh, and you should be fine you know to join us i'll leave the link below if you're watching this on um, on youtube okay hopefully we'll have a brilliant week i mean um I think our trade is still going well let's see you know um, that is one of the trades we are in one of the trades we are in oh yeah i hope it's not struggling to break here now this is the four hour time frame anyway so by within the next one and a half hours or so as of the, as of the time of recording this you know um, i would know whether to stay in the trade or whether to jump out <laughs> You need to protect your money. 
Okay, guys. So, catch you in the next video and um, see you soon. See you soon. See you soon.